What is going on, y'all? How we doing? It's about 7.30. Um, I just got up, and today I'm going to show you guys my morning routine. So what I do every single day to set myself up for success. Let's get started. All right, guys. First thing I do every single morning is make my bed. So this is so important because it's literally the first thing you do. And what, right when I wake up, I make my bed, and I've already completed the first task for the day, right? So I'm already setting myself up for success. All right, y'all, task number one done, on to the next thing. Task number two, taking a cold shower, bro. So this is something that I've been doing for a little bit, but I've gone like, ever since 2020 started, I've been consistently taking a cold shower every single day, right when I wake up. And there's a lot of benefits to taking cold showers. Um, there's a lot of scientific data that, that illustrates the benefits. Um, and some quick things just that I noticed is obviously it wakes me the fuck up, but it helps me like, I'll walk in into that shower sometimes with like a sore throat or a stuffy nose and immediately after I get out, it's gone. Um, so cold, cold showers really do boost your immune system functions. Um, and they're also just good for, again, just waking you up and kind of getting your day started. By taking a cold shower, I'm doing something that I really don't want to do. You know, something that's really uncomfortable. Um, and since I'm doing something that's so uncomfortable at the start of my day, it's just setting me up for success. So let's do it. All the way cold, man. All the way cold. All right, y'all. Just topped out of the shower. It was cold as fuck. Um, in the mornings in Richmond, in the wintertime, it can be like 15 to 20 degrees. So that water really is ice cold. Um, anyways, on to the next thing. Number three, hydrating yourself. So when you wake up every single day in the morning, your body is naturally dehydrated, right? So it's very important to start getting hydrated in the morning. So to do this, I have two cups of water after I take that shower. There's also a lot of benefits, obviously, to being hydrated, but some things that I've noticed, like specifically drinking those two glasses of water, um, right when I wake up after I take that shower is that it kind of if, I, if there's any like lingering grogginess from the night before It's immediately like gone. Um, the water kind of revives me a little bit Kind of clears my senses and makes me a little bit more alert. So I'm ready to tackle my day All right, y'all the final part of my morning routine is meditation So after I make my bed take that cold shower drink those two cups of water I meditate right I sit down in my favorite chair right over there and I just meditate, right? Um, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video about meditation because I feel like it's one of those things that's a very simple idea, um, but it all often gets like extremely overcomplicated. But essentially what meditation is to me, um, and my, my version is extremely simple. I don't focus on my breath. I don't do any poses. I don't do anything like that. I literally just sit down in a chair. I'll set an alarm for 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how much time I have, and I'll put my phone in another room. But I literally just sit down and I, I don't do anything. Like meditation is the art of doing nothing, right? So I don't try to purposefully think of anything and I don't not try to think about anything. Um, in, in our society today, we're extremely overstimulated. Wherever you go out, you can see it. Um, whether you're waiting in line for food, you know, you're, you're at the grocery store buying food and you're waiting in line or even even at restaurants or at like any any store like you'll see people waiting in line or you'll see pe people like not really they're waiting for something and they'll be like looking down on their phones right so people are always overstimulated boredom is literally dead um so as a result of this overstimulation you know we have like a million thoughts always going through our head because there's always something in front of our face right we never get a chance to kind of detach and you know give separate ourselves basically we don't have a chance to separate ourselves so we can process what's going on around us um i recently watched a joe rogan podcast and i, f I forget the guy's name um but the guest that was on there kind of compared this whole idea of being overstimulated and having too many thoughts in your head to the point where you get anxious and you know like everything drives you crazy he basically compared it to like an email inbox with 100 new messages right Whenever you open your email inbox and there's a shit ton of messages, it kind of stresses you out. Like it's almost overwhelming because there's so much to read. And by meditating, you can go through each email one by one and kind of process that thought, right? And it allows you to declutter your mind. 
Um, so that's basically the goal of meditation. Again, I will do a more in-depth video about that. But those are my four habits. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. All right, what is going on, y'all? How we doing? I'm currently on my way to gym. We're hitting shoulders today, so I'm pretty excited. See you there. enjoyed the video about my morning habits and routine and I hope you guys choose to implement some of the stuff that I showed you because it really has changed my life and it's just been able to make me a lot more successful and pro uh, productive um, one thing I did forget to mention is kind of just like a general like general positivity like right when I wake up I will literally like in my head and sometimes even out loud I'll, I'll say like I'm like lucky to be alive. I'm lucky that my hands work. I'm lucky that my feet work I'm really lucky. I can look around like today's gonna be a great day Like literally when you wake up anything can happen in that day It's up to you. You know what I mean and telling yourself that you're gonna have a great day telling yourself that You know the day's gonna be amazing will make it amazing because it's all about it's all about your mentality like easy example on your birthday right on everyone's birthday you almost always have a great day even if you don't get a lot of gifts or even if you know some people forget to tell you happy birthday and it's always a great day to you like you just feel good inside because you have that mentality of oh it's my birthday like it's gonna be a great day you know so guys be positive like like life is good you know we always have there's always things going on in our life that are gonna stress us out they're gonna make us anxious but at the end of the day man it's it's all worth living and it's all worth going through because life's beautiful all right so don't forget that uh, if you made it to the end of the video, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button, um, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, then put it in the comments below, um, but I guess uh, I'll see y'all next time.